Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, not posted for a while, but I thought I'd do a quick video. I promised myself I'd do this video based on a fault code that I had on JC, uh, JCB 3CX contractor. And the fault code was P, well, put it down on the screen here, uh, P025300, which points to uh, the IMV inlet valve when you go on Service Master. So my story was, it happened back in February uh, this year. I was driving back from a site, uh, going up a hill, and the engine just dropped, died. Uh, no warning. It came up with stop now on the on the dashboard. Um, if you turn the key, the ignition off and back on again, it started up. Happened a couple of times on the way home. So I, I spoke to an, an engineer and a couple of colleagues and some friends in the, in the game and some owner operators, and they all said, change the lift pump it'll be the lift pump or the relays um, it wasn't that and I will explain the story but I just wanted to do because at the time I did a lot of googling I spoke to a lot of people and I thought it'd be great if there was a YouTube video which kind of pointed you in the right direction so my first point of call was um, fuel because it, it it leads to a fuel problem so first of all, check your fuel pump relays. Your fuel pump relays are, I'll, I'll put a video of where they are in a minute. I'm not sure how to do it, but I will. Are under the bonnet in the engine pod. If you lift the bonnet, they're right next to the windscreen. If you open that up, there's two blue relays. I think one's the starter, one's the um, fuel pump. Now the easy thing to do is to switch them over and see if that helps. If not, change it. I think they're eight pound. If that, you probably get them cheaper on the internet or eBay. Uh, the second thing to ch to check is your is this, the lift pump. Uh, and one way you can check the lift pump is to take the feed hose off um, that goes to your secondary filter uh, and check your check you're getting enough fuel. I think if you if you put it into a measuring jug, ensure the measuring jug is is about a three liter measuring jug. For two cycles, don't start the engine. Just turn the ignition on, and it'll it'll cycle. Um, the lift pump after two cycles you should get around 2.1 or 2.1 to 2.4 liters of fuel if you get that your lift pumps fine then I would check your fuel make sure you've got um, there's no debris in the fuel tank just check it shine a torch in there and see if there's any debris once you've done that another thing to do if you haven't changed your filters recently is to change your filters um, you've got your, there's a filter, this is a 2017 model, so you've got the, the fuel filter on the below the lift pump, and you've got the secondary fuel filter, which is on the left-hand side, if you're looking down at the bonnet. Um, change both of them, it may, may solve the problem. However, this didn't solve anything, as far as I was concerned, so then I started um querying what it could be it could have been the fuel temperature sensor it could have been the imv valve all of those i changed um again it didn't solve it um which led to a lot of googling a lot of youtube videos of what the co uh, code could be uh, as an owner operator um in an ideal world i'd just change everything or get an engineer in and spend hours on it but i kind of wanted to do as much as a as much repair as I could myself to try and save some money. I mean, the machine was drivable to a point. It was it would cut out um, in top gear um, anything above seventeen hundred RPM. It would it would just shut itself down, but it would start again, which was a good thing. So I've had a, had a few engineers out over the over the over the, the course of the two months. We changed. We did a bleed off test on the injectors. We changed the injectors. That didn't help. Um, and over once I, it, it got worse when it was warm uh, and hot, uh, in, especially in the summer temperatures. But it also did it stationary. So I first someone mentioned to me that it could be um, something on the torque lock because it only did it when the torque lock was engaged. Um, so then I, I, I brought the machine back to the yard and I cycled the front bucket, um, dead, ending, dead ending the um, the bucket. So there's full with full, full revs up and down and it cut out after about two minutes. So 
that kind of crossed out the uh, anything to do with the transmission, which is great, and anything to do with the torque lock, which again was a thumbs up, but it did, still didn't solve the problem. Cut a long story short, um, after changing the common rail, the injectors, um, and all the sensors that go within them, it was the hydraulic, uh, the, sorry, not the hydraulic, the high pressure pump. Um, and when the high pressure pump was taken apart, you could see some scoring on in, within the high pressure pump. So it must have been catching, um, throwing an error code to the ECU, saying there wasn't enough fuel for the injectors, and then therefore it, it cut the engine off. Obviously, when you went to restart it, the problem disappeared. And this would go with the fact that as it got warm, um, the metal expands and it catches more often. That's what I, that, that solved the problem. Uh, three, probably three months later, three months down the line, um, uh, in in an ideal world, I would have changed everything and we would have, we'd better, you know, we, we, the problem would have been solved. But it it was one of those things I was determined to try and try and fix it if I could. Uh, but there's some things I don't, I wouldn't want to mess with. One being the injectors, and two, anything to do with the high pressure fuel system. But uh, thankfully, uh, thanks to some fantastic engineers, I think it was McNulty Engineering, they're based around Birmingham, um, and EDJ, who's based over Shrewsbury Way, both above and beyond, um, helped me out. Um, and and were, were, were annoyed that it wasn't fixing it. Whatever they did wasn't fixing it. But we, we got there in the end, and it is sorted. But I just thought this would be... Um, a guide because when the code comes up you don't know where to turn I mean if you're under warranty you could go to your dealer but if you're not um, my I would personally say first of all check the relays um, secondly check your fuel fuel lines any kinks in the fuel lines check any dirt in the fuel uh, then check your filters check your lift pump um, hopefully fingers crossed that um, solves it for you if not it is a case of changing the common rail and the high pressure pump. Um, if I were to do it again, I would have changed them, changed them all. But being green to it, I was well green to it and not wanting to spend too much money. I thought hopefully you could change the common rail injectors, and you know one of them would have solved it. But in the end, um, it was the high pressure pump. So just a quick video. Hope this helps someone along the way um if it does please thumbs up maybe subscribe as well i'm going to try and do a few more videos in the future in the near future i've been a bit bit slow and what with these issues of youtube has been the last thing on my mind however um coming into christmas i'm going to start putting some um some more videos out so keep tuned thank you very much take care